Mari's beach bag. It matches with heroes. <laughs> That's cute. No shoes at the beach. Walking on sand with shoes is the worst. Hero's beach bag. It matches with Mari's. Basil's tote bag. It's a little small, but he likes it. It's adorable, just like Basil. My plastic bag. It's functional. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry, Sunny. You're... Oh, Sunny. Kel's backpack is way too big for him. Um... So what did Aubrey bring? A fully eaten watermelon. It was delicious. Aubrey's pouch. It fits her perfectly. <laughs> Aww. Um, okay, I talked to everybody. Um I think it's about time I leave. Are you sure you wanna go? Yeah. Um Yeah. You remembered taste of watermelon? It tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. Yep. The violin mended a part of itself. Here we are again, out in this rain. No umbrella. The good thing about walking down memory lane is that I'm I'm starting to like, I don't know, get my voice back. Um I don't know if it was noticeable, but I was crying. Memory Lane has forced me to, um, it's forced me to calm down and wipe my tears away. So now I'm feeling better. Yay. Not all sad. Hmm. It looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, Hero. Aw, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. I'm glad you all liked it. One day, you're gonna be a world-famous chef, and you're gonna cook for me lots of yummy food. Huh? Wait, I am? Of course you are, I believe in you, Hero. Well, if you say so. <laughs> oh. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah. I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. But wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. Hector! How could you? Hey, Sunny. Can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking and all, and Mari always says I'm really good, but my parents want me to become a doctor. Do you think I should become a chef? Yes. Haha, <laughs> maybe. We're still young, we should dream big, right? Hmm, but yeah. My mom's gonna have something to say about that. A plate wiped clean. Hero always makes sure that Kel finishes his food. <laughs> He's a good friend and a good big brother. And a good son, just all around a good person. <sighs> oh, hey, little brother. Sorry, did we wake you up? You look so peaceful sleeping there. Reminds me of when you were just a baby. Wait a minute. Oh, that's Aubrey. I couldn't tell who she was with. It's Mari and Aubrey. Um, am I allowed to talk to her? Uh, I guess not. I guess not. Um, I can't seem to. Hey, Sunny. I took a photo of everyone earlier. Wanna see? This could have been such a good shot. But Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop. Huh. 
Maybe I can cover it up with tape later. Ew. Um. Oh, they like blocked me in, so I'm not allowed to. Oh, wait, yes, I am. Okay. Hey, Hector. Bark, bark. Yes, you're a good boy. He was. That's what he was saying. That's totally what he was saying. He wanted to know was he a good boy, and he is. Mari's cookies. What is he? Hmm. He ate a cookie. And now he's sitting down. Oh, he's sitting down. Okay, I think he's okay. I think he was sitting down after he ate a cookie. That's what that was. Um Okay, I think I talked to everybody except Aubrey, but I don't think I'm allowed to talk to her. Um I think I'm done here. Are you sure you want to go? Yeah, I think I did everything I needed to do here. You remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. It felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. The violin mended a part of itself. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, Sunny, did you really... Sunny, did you really push her? There's more to this story. There's more to the story. There's so much more to the story. It's raining. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Basil. What took you guys so long? Sorry. We got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil, Basil! Take a picture of my new raincoat! Oh, okay. One sec. I remember this photo. So we, re we relive in all of these memories of these photos. I mean, that's what I'm guessing. Do you like it, Sunny? It's my favorite color, pink. Ew, pink is a gross color. No, it's not, Kel. You're a gross color. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sunny, that reminds me. Mari and I were talking about dyeing our hair together. <laughs> For a moment, I misread it. It's in Mari and I were thinking about dying, and I'm like, wait, what? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Mari says that she's going to dye her hair purple. P purple? You want to know what color I chose? Wait, are you saying you want to dye your hair pink? Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? Personally, I think it's cute. Pink hair is cute. I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. It, it would be. Mari thinks so too. Purple hair is cute too. Hmm. I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I mean, it will make you stand out, but it's cute. I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Sunny? Yes. I'm, I'm just, I'm picking all the nice answers, all the nice options, you know? It's like, you want a high five? Yes. You think I should be a chef? Yes. Do you think pink would look good on, yes. Sunny says that he thinks that pink is a great color. See, even Basil and Sunny agree. You're the one who's weird, Kel. Whatever. You said you and Basil were playing that new pet rocks game? Hmm. Maybe I should get into it too. Hey, I know. Why don't we go to Hobbies to check out if they have any new stuff? Yay, that settles it. One day I'm gonna dye my hair pink. But maybe not in time soon. My dad is kind of strict about these things. What is it, Sunny? Do you want to see the photo? Yep. I remember that photo. You always ask to look at my photo whenever I take any pictures of Aubrey. Do I... maybe... sense a little crush? You feel your ears turning red? Oh. Heh <laughs> Don't worry, I won't say anything. My lips are sealed. I... think that... To be fair... Is it only... No, that's not... No, he's been looking at all the pictures. What is he talking about? Right? Hmm. 
but I do think that they like each other or at least always felt like Aubrey had a crush on Omori I think um but he likes her back that's cute oh are you going going ahead Sunny don't worry about us we'll catch up in a minute I mean I did keep wondering like do they like each other they they crush on each other or rather I kept thinking that Aubrey probably has a crush on Sunny but Sunny having a crush on Aubrey wasn't really sure if it was um wasn't really sure if the love was being, you know, received or if it was just, you know, just all a one-sided type of, um, situation. But I guess it was, um, I guess it was some mutual pining going on, as they say in the, um, fanfic community. Mutual pining. Are you sure you want to go? Yes. You remembered sound of falling grain as it hits your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. The violin mended a part of itself. All right, let's go. Come on. I'm ready to face all of the memories. I'm ready to face all of the memories. I wanna know what really happened. I, I know that whatever happened, I know that Sonny is a good person. I know that I just, he's, I know he's good. He is. He's good. Basil's good. They're all good. Are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, Sonny? Sonny is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? It's okay, Sonny. You'll get used to it soon enough, heh? <laughs> Wow, this cake looks so amazing. You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Hero made the cake? Wow. Yay, thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. I hate strawberries. I hate them. Basil, Basil. What wish are you gonna make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey. I wish that we'll be friends forever. To be something like that, isn't it? Which is, which is a cute wish to make. Even though it's like I'm making fun of him for it, it's a very cute wish to make, and there's nothing wrong with making a wish like that. Or else it won't come true. Yeah, you can't. That's the superstition, you know? If you're gonna make a birthday wish, don't tell anybody what the wish is, or else it won't come true. Huh? Is that how it works? Then, in that case, I wish that Kel would get straight A's in school. Hey, you can't do that! It's not even your birthday, Aubrey. Hmm, a wish. Ah, what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. Oh, I know. <laughs> I think I'll wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Aw, I want to know though. I feel like his wish was probably something like I wish we'll be friends forever or something like that. It, it, it had to be something like that. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candles are gonna melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Did you want to start us off, Mari? Sure thing. At him. And a one, and a two, and a three, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Basil. Happy birthday to you. They really sung it. Woohoo! Blow out your candles, Basil! Make a wish! They really sung it. Kel being silly. Kel being Kel. You remembered? Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. But you also remembered? As Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wish for everyone to be happy. I can't help but think that they made the same wish. The violin mended a part of itself. Wonder how many memories are there to go? Is there gonna be a memory for every single picture? Cause there was a lot of pictures, wasn't there? Um, eh? Cause there was a lot of pictures, wasn't there? Wow, a new basketball! 
Thanks, bro. No problem, Kel. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh-huh, you bet. Okay, Sonny, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, you just get one present from all of us. It probably doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up for it together. Yeah, me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mari and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me? I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but it's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us about how you always sit in your room with her when she's practicing the piano. And there was even at one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea. We all decided to pitch in for a really nice one. So, yeah. We hope you like it, Sonny. This is from all of us to you. Did they get him a violin? So that's what that picture was. That's what that picture was. That photo when he's playing the violin and it's Christmas. Oh my goodness. They got him a violin. Ta-da! It's your very own violin. We hope you like it, Sonny. Go on and try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers as if on its own your body ready the violin to play. Oh, it's just one note. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> you remembered the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That it scared you, but you didn't mind because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them because they were your friends. They worked hard, put their money together, and got him a violin. The violin regained its shape. Oh, so that was the last memory, I guess. There's see why is there I don't do should I keep going into the light? You remember the smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made it from stretch. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. You remembered the taste of watermelon. It smelled more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer, okay? Right. You remembered the sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. You remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. It felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. You remembered Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. You remember the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note of your new violin that your friends bought you with their hard-earned cash. Oh, Sonny's got some good friends. Like, all of them. I know I never shut up about Hero. Hero's awesome, and Hero is awesome. But, like, really, all of his friends are, they're good people. They're good friends to have. All right. Um, um, Sunny, you're finally here. After this point, it's going to be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we all became friends, I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually. But when the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You would listen to me talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you to do that. I know we've missed out on each other for the past few years, but it doesn't have to stay that way. 
People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kind of careless, but I'll always be here, if you're okay with it. Sunny, you know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you, but you have to put a little bit of trust in us too. Just because you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. That's what I was thinking. You've had to live with this pain for so long and you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them too. There's more good times to come. Life gets better. And you can be the one to make that happen. They're, they just grew up. Whatever happens next is gonna be your call. But we're here for you because you want us to be. And we really hope that this isn't goodbye. I want to talk to them, but first, first, 